Ace on the flop. Kings are dead. Two kings left. Or they're going to be gone. Six on the turn. That's not it. I've had enough. Ludo has kings. Let's not talk about it. Moving on. Uh oh, we've got some action. Aaron in the big blind with the ace queen of hearts. It's a moment of time. This is a decisive moment in this tournament. Because if you look at both these stacks, there's approximately 240 million chips between the two of them. That's about a quarter of the chips left in this tournament in their two stacks. And they have some of the best hands in the limit hold'em. Ludo will be calling. 18.8 million in the middle. We're going to a flop. It's an ace high flop. This is terrible news for Ludo. Aaron's flopped the goods. Top pair with a queen kicker. I'm really surprised Ludo didn't four bet preflop as well, but I don't know. I think I would four bet. But we've seen Ludo flat on the button with Jax in the craziest hand I've ever seen yesterday. The most incredible fold I've ever seen in my life as a 10 year poker pro. And today we've seen him just call a three bet with kings. I don't know. I don't know. I seem to call a lot of those big pairs. More like to be some junky hands. I expect to see Ludo continue here. Is there a clip of that hand? There is a clip on the channel. Yes. It's also going to come out on YouTube later today. So if you just stick around for a little bit of time, it'll come out on my YouTube. And Ludo just folds. I mean, a great fold. The fact he just folds to a single continuation bet is really good. Oh, no, wait. He didn't fold. He didn't fold. Never mind. I thought he threw it away. He was throwing in a time chip. Okay. I thought he threw his chip, his hand like that. Okay. We're back. Never mind. Not a great fold. I mean, the standard, by the way, is to call, which is why I was like, wow, how did he just fold? You should probably call at least one. With kings. But then we're playing live poker here too. You can make some reads on your opponent. Wow. Wow. Wow, Ludo. Wow, dude. Wow. wow. No. No. These guys are too good, man. These guys are too good at poker. That's incredible. Just flats a three bet, folds to a C bet. That's very, very strong. That's crazy. It's incredible fold, man. These guys are playing some good cards. Really good cards. They're all counting pulse. That's what's going on, man. Pulse counting is happening right now. Peter Jetton in the pot here. 20% of the time they're going to split. Similar hand, but he just folds. 
There we go. I was going to say. Alex Foxen takes it down with a 10 8 and a cutoff. I mean, you got to be really worried about this guy. His demeanor at the table as well is very strong. Like, it's uh, it's a strong a strong demeanor, for sure, you know? Like, it's one where you, you understand the guy's good, and he's someone that you need to pay attention to, and you should be worried about as well. He certainly gives off a very confident and focused sort of vibe at the table. And the GPI number one ranked tournament player in the world. He actually went on to win a WPT uh, Bellagio event the month after this happened, like in December. So two months ago, he won a WPT. Very, very good poker player. I mean, it's the people left in this field um, are very strong. Ludo raising it up to 3.2 million. Alex Fox in here. In the hijack with the ace queen. We got to watch him, I think, on day 1B or day 2. Probably considering whether he wants to 3-bet and call in all in or just call or do something else. You know, it's a pretty decent hand, but it's not necessarily a hand you want to get all in pre-flop, especially given the payout pressure here. So he does go for the call. Going around the rest of the table here. Okay. And King sees a quick fold there, so we are going to a flop. Ludo against Alex Foxen. King, eight, deuce. Alex has the best hand for now. See, his reaction to that fold was great. I mean, it's very good, man. Very good. You mean the fold yesterday? I don't know if it's out on my channel yet. Let me see. Not out yet, but it should be out later. It's it's incredible. I honestly think that hand we watched yesterday is going to blow up. I don't think enough of the poker world has seen it. It's the most amazing fold I've ever seen. I, I think that that hand is going to go viral, dude. Royalty Roy, 1650 HPT next week, so hopefully I can get a heater. Yeah, man, good luck. Good luck. Seven of clubs in the turn. Like, here's, like, Royalty Roy. So, like, four out of five tournaments crushing and then on a downswing since, but even the best poker players in the world, you know, they're 75% of the time or more going home with zero dollars. You know, so it doesn't mean you should be, like, pessimistic about everything and down about everything but i think going into a tournament realistically and understanding that you can't dictate your success or failure as a person based on busting out of a tournament it doesn't mean you did anything wrong you could have played perfectly with like the perfect mindset and still go home empty-handed and that's just poker like that is going to happen time and time and time again and it's going to happen multiple times in a row sometimes it's going to happen for months in a year in a row man it might happen to you for a year where most of the year that's what happens to you and and that's just the game so one of the biggest skills in poker i think is being able to stand up in the face of the cold heartless game of poker that doesn't care what happened to you yesterday doesn't care what happened to you last week or the month before if the cards dictate that you're going to lose another 60-40, you're going to lose another one. Stand up in the face of that opposition and continue moving forward while thinking clearly, making good decisions, staying confident in yourself, and staying positive. That's one of the hardest things to do in poker. And the people that make it all have the same talent in being resilient in the face of that pushback. So do that, man. Be a warrior. Just like fight that and cast it off to the side as if it doesn't even matter and keep moving forward. That's that's the thing. That's the battle cry I write, I read myself to like push forward when I'm I'm going through tough times. Ludo's gonna bet here, fourteen and a half million. Alex Foxen has Ace Queen, so actually has the best hand. The kicker plays. This would be a really sick call on the river. 
Counting cards is the easy part in poker. Yeah, because all the cards are up, right? So there's 52 cards of the deck. The only counting in poker is just like, there's an ace on the flop, which means there's only three aces left. That It's that kind of stuff. It's not like blackjack where there's, you know, 10 decks together and you're trying to count pluses and minuses. Like poker is completely different than blackjack, completely different game. You're playing against human beings where all the cards are available as information except for the ones that are hidden. And you just treat those as unknown cards and only one deck, you know, like other casino games are very, very different and, and not the same at all. It's a common question though. People ask, so do you like count cards? When I tell them I play poker for a living, it's like, no, you don't have to in poker. Like it's, you're looking at probabilities, you know, there's 52 cards in the deck, you know, the likelihood of like a king coming on the flop, but you're not actually counting cards. Alex Fox and Foles. Ludo with the bluff with the ace jack. Go on, Ludo. He's happy about it. Look at him. You can tell he's happy about it. Nice pots. Nice pot, man. $160 million for Aaron Van Blarkham. Ludovic Eilich on 95 million, 48 blinds. William Blaze on 47. Alex Foxen. 21 blinds, Ryan Reese on 18 blinds, Peter Jetton on 15 blinds, 4, 5, 6. That's a combo of death right there in the middle. Philip Gruesome as well, hanging out there, the shortest stack at the table. So this was what's up, man. The final day of plays from the Nassau Bahama, Bahamar Resort. Caribbean Poker Party main event 2019, man. That's the situation. That's what we're doing. That's it. And I didn't get to say Giuseppe. That is Cernia there from Argentina, but sitting on 12 blinds and still alive. Blinds are going up now. 1 million, 2 million with a 2 million big blind ante. There's going to be 5 million in the middle every hand once the cards are dealt out. That's a lot to play for. We're going to see some chips fly around here. There's going to be a winner of this tournament in about six hours, so it's, it's going to be fast. Our home game is also starting in one hour. So just a reminder, we do have a home game today. Information in the chat right now. Pezzinho put it in there. So come play. It should be fun. One hour from now, it starts up. I will be streaming it after we're done coverage for the day. Cheers, royalty, Roy. Cheers, man. Yeah, I mean, it's really common. Like, I approached poker the same way as you did. You know, like, I had some early success. I'm like, I'm the best. No one can beat me. I'm going to crush. But it becomes apparent very quickly, like, how not good I was and how much work I had to do. And that's a very common thing in poker. So, um, yeah, man. But I'm excited for the road ahead for you. You know, you've had some early success. You've got some confidence. You're ready to go. So, pursue it. But, like, work hard. And I think you'll be successful, man. Good luck. The home game is on Party Poker, La Flambia. Hello, El Jefe18. Welcome back to the stream. How are you doing today, my friend? Philip Gruesome's all in with the 9-8. Quickly takes it down. Okay. Quick one. And that was a shove for eight blinds because, again, it's two million big blind now. So Philip back up to an even 20. Royalty Roy, drop of the sub. Thank you, man. I appreciate the support of the channel. Get some hearts on the chat for the newest subscriber, you guys. Royalty Roy. Thanks for the support, dude. Good luck on your journey. Keep me posted as well. Keep me, Let me know how it goes over the weeks, months, years, dude. I'd love to follow along. Alex Foxen, under the gun plus one with the ace 10 here. Going to raise it up. It's a dicey stack, right? He's got about 21 blinds to start the hand. So it's not like a huge stack or anything. Fold around. Peter Jetton's out. Le Gruesome is out. Fold, 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 fold. Giuseppe with the ace nine is all in for 22 million. Now Alex Foxen is going to have a tough spot here because let's let's do a little bit of poker stereotyping, which is not a perfect read, but there's going to be general correlations. 
between different cultures, different ages, different genders, like all sorts of things that you have to make estimations at. It doesn't say anything inherent about old people or it doesn't say anything inherent about people from Brazil or, or anything like that. But it's sometimes all the information you have to go off, right? So Alex Foxen is playing as Giuseppe. In general, I think the older the opponent you play against, the tighter on average they are. Again, this is no disrespect meant to older people, but you have to try and draw some correlations here. And Alex Foxen hasn't played with Giuseppe very often. But the assumption I'm making is that Giuseppe has a pretty good hand. Like, I don't think the older guy at the table that I haven't played with is going to be shoving a very wide range. So Alex Foxen folds the ace-10, and I would have done the same thing in his spot. Even though it's wrong here, I think he makes a fine assumption based on the information he had of like, hey, I got a guy in this live tournament. You know, he's... Good looking guy, but like, I bet he's 50, you know? I don't think he's like shoving the thinnest ranges, reshoving them. I don't think this guy came up in the online era where he's like, you know, 10 tabling six days a week. Like, he probably had a career and a wife and kids. He was busy doing other things in his life. And therefore, like, I gotta assume this shove is really strong. That's how I'd think, think about it if I was Alex Foxen. And I think why he folded. I would have done the same thing. We can see he was wrong, and Giuseppe making the moves, man. Making the moves. It's an interesting thing in poker as well, I think, where you can play off your perception. You can play off what people are going to think about you, especially good players that are very perceptive and thinking about things. You can do the opposite of what people expect. You could shove more than most people in that spot based on how people are going to treat you. Aaron up to 5.2 million with the sixes. And Giuseppe's all in with the ace 10 again this time. 28 million. Aaron calls quickly. Sixes against ace 10. Here we go. B Dog 135 dropped the side with the Twitch Prime. Welcome to the team, B Dog. Get some hearts out of the chat with that support. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, B Dog. Whoa, set of sixes for Aaron. Giuseppe's on the way out. Needs a running King Jack or this is going to be it. Three on the turn, isn't it? Giuseppe is gone. Our Argentinian friend is out of the tournament. GG in 16th position, which means we've just hit a pay jump. Giuseppe just missed a $15,000 jump as well. You hate to see it, though. Giuseppe seems like a nice dude, you know? Playing well. Aaron. Aaron Van Blarkham, 193 million chips, 97 blinds, crushing it right now, man. By far and away, our table chip leader. And we know that this is about one-fifth of the chips in play, approximately. That's a huge stack. Because when you start this tournament, you start with a million chips. You mean Philboard just made 15K? <laughs> That's a ladder. That's a ladder right there. I'm touching the mic again. I can't help it. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. Mic touching haters. I am trying so hard. It's difficult, man. I'm always like playing with things in my hands. You guys probably know if you watch a stream, I suck my shirt sometimes, play with the strings on my hoodie. It's just, I don't know why it is, man. I don't know. It's just a tick I got, man. It's hard to fix. How many big blinds is a million chips? So the big blind is actually 2 million right now. So if somehow you could register the tournament in the final 15, you'd get half a blind. Which you obviously can't. Peter Jetton is going to raise with the ace, deuce of hearts. Alex Foxen, the big blind with sevens. This is a very easy all-in here for Alex Foxen. Peter Jetton started the hand with 15 blinds. Um, and that's enough to raise and then fold to an all-in. So Alex has got to know that. To me, this is just an easy all-in play here. A 
but he just calls. I'm very surprised. This is not something I would do for sure. I guarantee you he's got a good reason for doing it, and he has a st strategical reason as to why he thinks this is the best way of playing it. To me, I'm all in in this spot, but I am surprised. I am open to learning from the Alex Foxen as to why he's taking this approach. King, King, 10 on the flop. I mean, this is kind of some of the tough situations that can come up if you just call with sevens pre. So curious as to how he plays this. A min bet of 2 million. I assume he will continue here and call. Yep. It's a call. We're going to the turn. 15 million in the middle. I have busted the KO series 55. I'm going to re enter though. Try again, my friends. Try again. What's up, Frazzers? Your job right now is streaming in poker, right? Uh, yes, streaming, Poker Pro, and then also manager of Party Poker Team Online, co-manager with Jeff Gross, so sort of those three things. I do Twitch stuff with Party Poker and creative stuff. I'm a Poker Pro and try and make money at the table, although I also play a lot of big stuff for the stream, uh, which is like I take risks with that, and then streamer, and all three are equally important. Alex Fox and checks with the sevens now. And Peter Jetton has to decide. Do I bluff with my ace deuce or do I just give up here? Sevens. Have one. Interesting. It's an interesting... Uh, it's a very interesting strategy. I'm surprised to see it. I would definitely... Go the other way. So I'd love to have the opportunity one time to ask him about that that choice to just call pre. It the most likely reason is probably he's weighting the payout pressure a lot higher than I am. That's probably what's happening there. You can see Ryan Reese is like considering it right now too. Like you can see it on his face. He's thinking about the choice, I think. But perhaps Alex Foxen is thinking that it's gonna be better to call call against a polarized range, raising off that size, because sometimes you'll be able to get away, um, which is valuable when there's 15 left. It's interesting. Interesting one. I am all in ace-queen against ace-queen, and it's not looking good, man. No! We have the same hand. They made a flush. My KO series hopes are about to die, man. Galfon stuck 200k today, yeah. I, I tuned in earlier and I saw that he was having a really bad session, so. Uh, you hate to see that, man. I'm really hoping for Phil Galfon, but obviously tough day today and hopefully turns around. Okay, I got a response from Twitch, so let me see. Okay, nice. Oh, they were just like, okay, cool. Like, basically, like, we're, we try and catch these guys all the time. That's basically it. Does Phil have Twitch, or how do you watch him? Phil Galfon, he's doing a challenge right now on the Run It Once uh, channel, 
where he's playing someone heads up at 100, 200. So he's streaming that quite often, and there's like commentators and stuff. But he's not off to a good start on the challenge. I think he's stuck like 700k or something. Uh, so it's not off to a good start, but he's very good at poker, and he knows what he's doing as well. So people are too worried for him, I think. <laughs> I mean, it, I really like him. I think some worry is fine, but I also think he knows what he's doing and he's capable of making good decisions. Like he's very smart. So he knows what he's risking. Going to a flop here, queen seven against queen four. Aaron's got the best of it slightly, but both players, well, I guess not really missed. Like, I mean, Aaron swapped a flush draw here and Ryan Reese has completely missed as I'm out of the KO series, 55. We'll be getting into 320 and the 55 soon after we're done broadcasting for today. Aaron is going to bet. Take it down. So if you guys are just tuning in, because there's a lot of people here, almost a thousand right now. We are watching the Caribbean Poker Party 10,300 main events. Uh, we are going to do this for about another two hours or so. And then we're going to switch to online poker and we're going to stream online poker tonight and playing like normal actual tournaments. So that's the plan. We're on no delay now, and then we'll go to a delay later when we're playing for real money ourselves. Um, also, we have a home game tonight, which is a $5 buy-in on Party Poker, so it'd be great to see you guys in there. Last week, I think we got 108 players, I think, so it'd be really cool if we could get more than 108 today, uh, beat last week's record. Uh, yes. And that starts at 46 minutes, exclamation mark home game. So that's the situation, man. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. As we see William raise it up, to a four million with the aces here. Pulls around to Peter Jett in the big blind, who I think can call that. But no, just lets it go, and good fold. You plan on playing any big live events this year? I don't uh, sell a JC. If I do, the most likely one would be the Millions event in London this summer, which I think will be qualification only. Uh, that would be, I think, a 5K main event. Well, I don't know if the official details are out, but I think it's planned to be a 5K main event in London, and that would be perfect because I can take a nice four-hour train. I love London. I'm in the UK, uh, and it'd be pretty simple to play. But focusing on the stream as much as I possibly can and uh, any live events or time off the stream. How many big blinds did they start with from T. Kumo? Well, they started with a million chips. I don't know what the first blind level is, but probably like 100 or 200 blinds. Maybe like 250-500. Or I guess 250-500, right? Probably 250-500. Start with a million chips, 200 blinds, and then it goes up to 501k after two levels where you have 100 blinds. Something like that, I would guess. Ludo raising ace four plus one. They started the tourney with either 200 or 100 big blinds. But it doesn't really matter because, like, it that quickly changes, you know? Like, very quickly. So you can start with 200 blinds the first level, and then it's 150, and then it's 100, and then it's 80, and then it's, like, 70, and then it's 60 after five levels, right? And people are still registering, so it's um, it's not a metric you think about very often, to be honest, is, is the starting big blind amount because it's so – just quickly changes as the tournament progresses. Hello, high grade poker. <laughs> Welcome, man. 15, there you go. You can see in the top left. 15 out of 948 left. Awkward spot with We've got a raise, we got a call, and we have an all in squeeze from Peter Jetton. Uh, I think Aaron is going to call here, who has ace 10. There's 31 million in the middle. Action is back on Ludo, who. Uh, I think we'll fold, especially with a player behind. 
Ludo doesn't want to call and folds. I mean, his hand's just not that good. And if it folds back to Aaron, he's only going to have to call 15.6 million to win 31.6. It's a really good price. Very good price. Back on Aaron. I think he should call here. I think Peter Jetton is capable of having smaller pairs. He needs to win the hand. He's getting about 2-1 to one odds. 33% of the time to break even. With a hand like Ace-10 against Peter Jetton's range, he's certainly going to do so. Um, here we can see he's winning double the amount that he needs, you know? If he needs 33%, he's winning 69% here, so that's that's a big deal. But let's see how he elects to go about this. Here we go. Okay. Well, Peter Jetton needs some diamonds or a king. Queen, three, deuce, two spades. Needs a king. King or running cards for a straight. That's it. Nine on the turn, okay. Picks up a jack as an out now as well. Seven outs for Peter Jetton, 16%. A king or a jack, or Peter Jetton is going home. The river is a king! Peter Jetton hits it, man. King ball on the river. And Aaron loses a big pot there. 47 million going towards Peter Jetton. And the field's got to be worried. Very good poker player. Someone very capable. So giving him chips is dangerous. Nice pot for Peter Jetton. There it is. Whew. All right. Peter has nine lives. He's doing all right, isn't he? He's sticking around. That's what it takes. Looking here at Ludovic Gaelic. He's going to fold Alex Fox and folds as well. <laughs> These are the moments my tilt would take the rest. <laughs> Everyone at the table is a tough player, it looks like to me, from Card Bandits. There's a lot of great players in the field. It's true. It's true. There's a lot of very good poker players left. I mean, yeah. You're right, man. It's just... Uh, it's very difficult. Like, the most unknown player at this table right now is Aaron. And that's no disrespect to him. I mean, I just don't know a ton about a game. His game, he could be the, the best player still in the field, but... Philip Gruesome, Peter Jetton, and I guess our, our Canadian friend here, I don't know as well, William, haven't heard of him, or I don't know, you know, what his online screen name is, or what his story is. Ludo, <laughs> Philip Gruesome, Ludo, Alex Foxen, Ryan Reese, Peter Jetton, and then Aaron and William. Yeah, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Moma Shabua. Man, I can't get all the questions. Let me see. You weren't here earlier, man. Never answered my question. I asked earlier. I left. You talked about it. And then it came back and I heard nothing. Well, you have no chat history in the channel. So you haven't asked. At least on the account that you're in the chat on now. As always, Aaron goes big. 6.5 the bet. Bet of 6.5 million here, and now action on William, who has a pair of threes. Not a great hand, but probably should peel, you know. 
Ah, okay, J. J. Liberman. Fair enough. So we've got some news. Again, this happened before. So William was apparently just at the Aussie Millions in the 25K or something. So. Interesting. We don't know if that's with money that he won off this big event or if he's just like a longtime crusher or something. And another bet from Aaron. Gangster 2 bet takes it down. Chipping up, chipping up on a Tuesday. I don't know when this was, but probably not Tuesday. 189.5 million for Aaron. We continue. Real question is, how does Van Vlarkum keep doing it? He's getting it done, bro. That's what Van Vlarkum does. That's the Van Vlarkum story. Philip Grissom needs some help, dude. But I, I respect the demeanor. He's still smiling here as the short stack. Seems to be having a good time. And we can see in the clock, 35 minutes left on the level before we go up beyond 1 million, 2 million with a 2 million ante. I'm trolling you, sir, because you talked yesterday about how people do that to you. Here's my question. Why is 7-2 worse than 9-3? I get 9 is a bigger pair. The gapping is much bigger for 9-3. Because the probability of making a straight between the two of them are about the same. So it just goes down to card value, which is like if the flop is 9-7-5, 7 deuce is ahead of 9-3. Or 7 deuce is behind 9-3. You know what I mean? Like with 7 deuce, you need 4 cards to make a straight. And if there's 5 cards to make a straight on the board, statistically that doesn't change very much. So 7-3 is a 3-gapper. But, like, any gap beyond four is the same. A four-gapper and an eight-gapper are going to make the straight the same amount. So the gap becomes irrelevant. Seven million from the William. Ludo! Oh, no. Ludo's gone, man. Ludo's gone. This is sick. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is not fair, man. Fifteen left in a million's event. Ludo looks down at the ace king. It's small blind versus big blind. This is not fair, man. Oh, you hate to see it. Two million is the big blind. Ludo three bits at 19.5. It's an all in and a call. Oh, this is awful. Oh, you feel bad for Ludo. I mean, amazing for William. He's got the nuts. He's got aces. But like, oh, man. This is sick. You just can't get away here. And the pale pressure is so huge. Again, you got to think it's 1.3 million for first. And they're guaranteed like 65k right now. Like, the amount of money on the line with 15 players left is sickening. Oh, this is so gross. I don't like... This is like... Oh, it's a slow motion car crash, man. You know? That's what it is. It's just... It's just a cringe spot where you're just... You don't want to see the disappointment, the dejectedness. Oh, God. He just calls. There's a way out. Is there a way out? Poker gods. Bring mercy upon Ludo's soul. Please, poker gods. 9-8 deuce. Now, does Ludo want to bet here or not? I think you can actually check here for what it's worth. Uh, on the 9-8 deuce. It's interesting, though. If you bet and get jammed on, you have to fold, and you hate that. Because you're going to get check shoved on with, like, Jack-10 suited type hands. Like, yeah, Ace-9 suited is probably going to call here as well. So you can check, but it looks like Ludo's going to go for a bet. I mean, we know it's not going to work. It's just going to be a shove from William, I assume. Maybe William could just call, but I would guess he would shove here. Maybe you could call. Maybe call, actually, from William. I mean, we know that's the best, given the hands that we see. But 
He's got to think he's against a range. I guess William should call here. There's not too much going on in a 9 8 deuce. You're not protecting from too much, so. I can I can see his pulse. Can you guys see it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. He does shove here though. And he does decide just to And Luda's gonna fold. Luda can't call here. It's forty eight million more, but it's just like he can't I don't think he can call. Especially with the payout pressure, fifteen left, you just can't do it. Like it's just so unlikely you're up against a draw here. There's no flush draw, so you're ahead of Jack ten. You're ahead of Jack 10. Like Jack 10. That's it. I don't think like Ace Queen is gonna check shove here. You know, I don't. I don't, I don't think we're gonna see Queen 10 suited just check shove here either. It's because Ludo is uncapped as well. Ludo can have Aces, Kings, Queens, Jacks, Tens. Yeah. So I think Ludo has to fold. Although there's so much money in the pot, he has equity against things, right? Like if his opponent has 9-10, it's probably like basically a flip. But as we can see, he is stone dead, zero percent. I think Ludo has to fold. through it here. There's not many hands he can beat. Yeah, I think Ludo has he to fold. Like to fold. <laughs> it's just so much money on the line too though, which really takes it up, right? It really takes it up top. Sick. Best case, he has six outs. Worst case, zero. That's not the best and worst case for what it's worth. I mean, the worst case is true, but it's not the best case. He is going to be head of actually some hands that do this. Primarily Jack-10 suited. And perhaps Queen-10 suited with a backdoor flush draw as well. Probably Queen-10 suited with a backdoor flush draw. But that's it. Um, a lot of the times he has six outs. Some of the time he has three outs. Um, if, you know, if his opponent has tens, jacks, queens, he has six outs. If his opponent has kings, he has three outs. This would be a good fold. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Okay, good. Yeah, he does have to fold, but... Whew! Okay, so he's not dead. I mean, that's the good news. The bad news is he doesn't have very many chips. Why Ludo 0%? Yeah, I think something was glitched out there, right? Because King King could have worked. Hey, home game stream. There you go. Um. Yeah, it could have come King King. So I think the percentage was glitched. But yeah, maybe it's counting in card removal and like other players had a King X in their hand or something. Galphon having a tough day today, man. Dang it. Uh, I really want Galphon to win the challenge. And I was so hyped when he was having a good day yesterday, but it seems like he's having not a good day at all today. The most annoying thing about the Galphon challenge <laughs> is the amount of people that are going to be playing armchair quarterback on him then. It's painful. It's painful to me. Kings against queens. Uh-oh, queens. Uh-oh, queens. GG to that guy. I don't know what his name is, but he's out. We're down to 14 now. I don't know if that's a pitch jump or what. Pretty interesting, man. Pretty nice little situation as we get back to the main feature here. By the way, 28 minutes away from the home game. So are you guys registered yet? Don't lie to me. I'm going to pull up my tourneys here. 18 people registered in the home game. Guys, there's a thousand people here, man. 
Where are the rest of you? Okay? Where are the 982 of you that are not registered yet? <laughs> I'm including myself. Just kidding. I know some of you are in countries where you can't play. I get that. But if you are in a country where you can play, why don't you come on the party poker, man? Come play. Five bucks. Home game. Play against me. Try your luck. I'm in the U.S. I'm in the U.S. I'm from Portugal. Don't play on party poker. Come on, man. Join us. Try it out. To be fair, though, I understand if you don't have an account. Listen, I'm not I'm not actually trying to guilt you guys. I'm mostly just memeing. You know what I mean? But it is my hope because I'm working with Party Poker and Team Online. I am hoping that if you guys enjoy the show and you like me and my channel, that you'll try it out one of these days. See if you like it. Those are some payouts, all right. Yeah, man. We're, we're talking big cash, dude. Talking big cash. 65K locked up when we're down to 13. It's 80K. We're starting starting to get some big money situations. We're on a $15,000 pay jump again. It's going to start to chip up. All right, Balut. I understand, man. I understand. What is the Twitch Open? Just saying I'm going to take $45 for that and the Twitch Open ticket from Shun. Twitch Open is a weekly tournament every Saturday. So tomorrow, uh, it's an $11 buy-in on Party Poker where there's $25 bounties on Team Online in the tournament. And, uh, yeah. So that's it. Stacky Chan registered. All right, Saucy Mitts. Good luck, bro. We're up to 20 now. The shout-out worked. We've got two new people in there. Thank you, guys. William raised it up to four million, and now Ludo has the best hand in Nola Holdem. The Pocket Rocket says he mentioned Card Bandit. Ludo calls. Alex Fox in the small blind here. Is all in. Uh oh, Alex Fox and uh oh, Ludo's got the aces, man. We're probably gonna lose the number one ranked GPI tournament player in the world right now to the Ludovic Gylik. Quick call with the aces. Alex Fox and sees the bad news. This is it, dude. Big moment. This is a big moment. Eighty-three million in the middle. The home game password is Kappa, my friend. K A P P A. Kappa. Ludo does have Alex Fox in cover. We're going to a flop. Three cards, three in the window. Ten deuce with hearts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, man. Alex Foxen has nine heart outs. This is sick. Oh, the, the twists and turns inside Ludo's stomach right now. No, it's a four hearts. It's a four hearts, man. He's dead. Yes, he has 8 million chips left. How do you take a beat like that? 14 left in a millions event? No, man. Oh, it's not fair. To the number one ranked tournament player in the world, it's not fair. Don't get me wrong. Alex Foxen works hard. But Ludo, man. 14 left. He didn't deserve it. Oh, that's so gross. It's so gross. Why? Why? Why me? Ludo is the owner of that term for now. Why me? Huh? It can't be like that, dude. It can't be like that. Don't show the graphic started with 116 million chips. Party Poker Live, please don't show that graphic, dude. Don't rub it in like that. Oh, Alex Foxen on 83 million. Danger for the table. Oh, why did they show that graphic? Party Poker Live. Don't show the starting stack graphic. It's too soon. He's on the party poker team. He's a party poker pro, man. He's taking it well, though. I mean, listen, he's taking it well. He's, he's joking at his own expense. He gives her one of these class acts. He'll be okay as well. But, I mean, come on. Oh. Mm. 
Oh man. Oh. Man, gotta hate aces. You don't. Mama Shabu. Mama Shabu, you don't have to hate aces at all. They're the best. Unless you got Ludo's luck. What's up, Nim FX? The password for tonight's home game is Kappa. K A P P A. That is the password, you guys. 23 of us registered now. It starts in 22 minutes. Kappa is the password. Spill of Gruesome takes it down. Wow. I feel sick for Ludo. I do. I mean, this has already happened in the world, but it's not fair. Has anyone consoled Ludo since this happened? Has anyone let him know? Ludo lost with Ace, Ace, and King, King today and lost a huge pot with Ace, King as well. Ace, King against Ace is where he survived. True. True. Oh, man. Not happy. Not happy at all. That's really painful. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Don't do it to Ludo like that. Don't give Peter Jetton aces. I mean, I like Peter Jetton. He's great. He's fantastic. But I mean, come on, man. Don't kick a guy when he's down like this. He just lost with aces, poker gods. He literally just lost. Don't do him like this. 14 left. It's not fair. Tell him. Tell him, chat. This isn't nice. Poker is brutal, chat. Poker is like really just a lot, you know? It's a lot. One second, I'm just sending out the text to organize some stuff, man. Okay. All right, I'm caught up. Sorry, chat. What happens? Ludo's basically out, and this is just unfair. I mean, the Ludo. world is not fair. It's not fair. Likely to be the next man out if we get this pot figured yeah, out. Yeah, I mean, true. He's likely to be dead here. We're going to be down to 13, right? Watch the flop come, flop come ace 5-5. Five, five. It's too soon, man. I've got toe jam. It's too soon. Please don't. Yeah, well, hit us with the deuce three four though. Okay, five, five, five. Sweats, sweats. Five ball could be. It's a moment. A little five ball on the turn or like a six eight running. That's not a chop. Sorry, I I jinxed it now. 
Aaron's got some outs to win. And there is a side pod going on here. Peter Jetton is loving his life with aces. A little five ball on the turn. Chat Karen. I can turn on the OG sound, but the problem is there's announcing on it. Not that there's anything wrong with the announcing. It's great. But uh, we talk over each other because I don't know when it's coming. So it doesn't work well. I'm, at, I'm adding my own spin to it. Um, so I know it's without table sound and table talk and stuff, but in the future we'll be better. And we'll have some without the announcing on it. All right, Peter Jetton bets 10 million. Action on Aaron now. Just taking a look at Peter Jetton's stack and getting a read for it. Peter Jetton obviously feels great about his hand with aces. Ludo knows he's dead. I think knows he's dead. I mean, he's not dead, dead. He's got 8%. Whoa, Aaron calls. Damn, Aaron. Whoa. Five of the turn. Five. Oh, okay. Aaron hits a 10. Well, I mean, I don't think Aaron's folding now, right? Peter Jetton has 18 million left. There's 36 million in the pot total. Peter Jetton wants to go all in here. I mean, yeah, Aaron, Aaron's got 22% for the double kapow down to 12. The double knockout, man. And I assume Aaron's going to call here in a second. I mean, his hand is improved. He still has a gut shot. So he's got to think he's got to call on this turn now, I think. There it is. And it's a call. Aces, jack 10, ace 5. Five ball for Ludo. 5%, man. 5%. No one bust here. It's only f no one bust. That's what we want. Five ball in the end. Ace isn't going to do it, man. Ludo's out of the tournament. GG to Ludovic Gaelic in 14th position. Misses a 15k pay jump there, but still a decent reward for his efforts. Peter Jetton picking up a bunch of chips there. We're going to get the total in a moment, I believe. There it is, 101 million, 51 blinds. Pretty good spot for Peter Jetton to be in. <laughs> Sir Cassie, all right. There it is. Ludo, Gaelic, eliminated. As we see, Scott Margeson was out there, but I don't think he's still in the tournament. He could be, but... Aaron Van Blarkham <clears throat> on 140 million after that hand, 70 blinds, still a lot, but I mean it's a tough one. It's a big pot. Welcome to the game, Peter. 100 million there. Foxen, Jetton, gruesome all with chips. Yep. Is Ryan Reese out of the tournaments or is he still in? I think he is. I think Ryan Reese is still at this table. We haven't seen him play too much, but yeah, there he is. Patience. Aaron now with the king queen. Very reasonable hand. Two very deep stacks here. What are the payouts? Exclamation mark payouts, resident Russian. There we go. Got you. Who's currently the best online player in your opinion? From Mama Shabubu. I, I don't have the chops to evaluate. The thing about the best online player, there's so many different genres. There's tournaments, there's sit and goes, there's cash games, there's spins. Um, and at the top, you can have like triangle type situations, is how I understand it. So let's think about like heads up cash games, right? Player A can be better than player B or beat player B, but then lose to player C. And then player, player B beats player C, but loses to player A. Player C, you know, so it's like you can have triangles where 
some people do well against one except not the other. So there is no clear definition for that. And also to even evaluate who the best is, you have to be elite yourself. You can't just be an observer of like, oh yeah, yeah, I played a tournament once for a hundred bucks. That guy's the best. It doesn't work like that. You have to be on the cutting edge to actually know who is playing the best. The Booga dropping the three month resub. Welcome back to the team. The Booga. This thing was lying around. So here, take it. Thank you, man. The Twitch Prime sub. Did you guys know, by the way, you can subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime for free. If you have an Amazon Prime account, you get a free subscription to my channel. And I get paid. And for you, it's nothing. Imagine that, right? It's pretty good. Click the subscribe button. See if you have a free Twitch Prime sub. Test the button. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Just saying. It's a pure sellout. Just saying. Aaron has a straight now. <laughs> William has top pair and an open ender. <laughs> You're on the cutting edge. I'm not, my friends. I am not in the top 100 players in the world. That is for certain. I appreciate the kindness, but... I don't have the chops to evaluate the very best online tournament poker players in the world. King ball in the end. Oh, it's a chop. Incredibly lucky card for William there. Very unlucky for Aaron. It's a 50-50 split for sure. I assume they're going to get the showdown here. So it's a check from William. Action on Aaron now who has an easy street just value bet. So let's see what he's going to bet here. 42 million in the middle. It was brutal, my goodness. It has been pretty insane, right? 13 left now in the tournament. Where are we at on payouts there? There it is. Spitting a call. 13 left. Uh, 80,000 guaranteed for everyone. Another page jump at 11. Sub hype. Uh, Athen Sia. Subscribe with the Twitch Prime. Look at that. A free sub coming in, chat. It was free for them. Thanks for the money, man. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the team. I appreciate your support. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hearts on chat for the subscription. Thank you. Did you check back? No way. He didn't check back. He checked back? He checked back. Oh, whoa. NimFX drop of the sub as well. Welcome to the team, NimFX. That was not a Twitch Prime sub. That was just a four ninety nine sub. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a wow, what a check, man. Whoa. I mean the same hand. I'm surprised. Why? Hype train, are we hype training right now? Is it a hype train? Oh my god, it's a level one hype train. I've never had a hype train, chat. Let's go. I don't know what that means, but we're doing it, man. That's legit. I'm always on a delay. It's so hard to get a hype train with a delay. We got a new biggest bit lord of the day. Poker playing baby. Drop of the five bits. I'm gonna be pinned on the stream in a second. Thank you, man. <laughs> you can't get a hype train going when you have a four minute delay. It takes four minutes to respond, but there's only one minute left. Ryan Reese with the sixes here in the hijack. And it's going to be an all-in situation here. 24 million. Pretty standard. Sen KZ N1 drop of the sub with the Twitch Prime. The free Twitch Prime sub coming in from Sen KZ. Thank you very much, man. Welcome to the team. Hearts out in chat. I see the hype in the chat. It's looking good, dude. Level one complete. Let's go, man. Thank you, Sen KZ. I appreciate it. Nine sub on the day. Miro dropping the 43 month resub gets the love of the chat for that as well. What's a hype train? And by the way, to answer the question about the best online tournament player, it's got to be Bacon Dave. It's got to be, man. <gasps> Peter Jetton has queens. Peter Jetton has queens. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ryan Reese is gone. Unless it's a six, Ryan Reese is gone. Praying for deviance. Ryan needs a six, or it's going to be out. King 3-4, no help for Ryan. Five would give some outs, seven would give some outs, two would give an additional outs. 
but needs a lot of help to survive here. Eight on the turn is not going to do it. A six and only a six for Ryan Reese, World Series of Poker main event champion. Needs a six to survive or Peter Jetton picks up the chips. Deuce of hearts doesn't get it done. We have our 13th place finisher, Ryan Reese. GG, F for respect in the chat for the ban. He is out of the tournament. That's for 50% on hype train too. F for respect. There it is. Let's get the payouts here. Miro, thanks for the 43 month resub, man. I really appreciate it. Hearts in the chat for that, guys. So there you go. Peter Jetton on 130 million, 65 blinds, printing. We are 80K for 12th, and then 11th is 100K. So we're close. We got some bits coming in. Ed K dropping 200 bits. Pog. Pog Champ 100. Pog Champ 100. Bit Lord of the Day. Ed K. Pinned on top of the stream. Thank you, man. Appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you. Till when do you stream? For like another probably another five hours or so, something like that. That's my guess. Four or five hours. Last week I got knocked out of the home game with six six, youngest crew. Rip, man. Rest in peace. High grade poker drop of the sub. Welcome to the team, high grade poker. Get some hearts out of the chat for the new subscription. Level two complete. Come on, chat. Let's go. Tethy Y drop of the sub with the Trish Rhyme as well. Welcome to the team, Tethy Y. Thanks for your support. The free support coming in. Miro dropping 500 bits. Bit Lord of the Day. Pinned on top of the chat. Casual Fitzy with some bits as well. And the chat's getting rewards. Courtesy of Miro's 500 bits. Come on, dude. Level two complete, chat. The hype train level two. This is a new record for us. I don't know what happens now. Level two hype train is a new record, though. Hype conductors. Current hype train top supporters. Miro and the Booga. Oh, and you can unlock, like, emotes. Like, you can unlock special emote per train by subbing. Ooh. Ooh. Nice, man. Level 3 requires 5 tier 1 subs or 2,100 bits. All right. Listen, chat. I'm not, I'm not saying anything, but I'm not not saying anything. <laughs> Continuing on here. So here's the out of table. We have Ice Splash Cranberries there, who's got the he's got the chips. It's a friend of the stream. Whoa! High grade poker gifting some subs to the channel. That's five gifted subs. Welcome to the team. Captain Awesomer. Storm XL. Izzy2742. Armand and Tom 2T. Welcome to the team, all of you. Thank you very much, high grade poker, for the five gifted subs. Level three complete. We're hyping it up, man. The hype train level three is finito. Good work, chat. Good work. Level three. This is fun. I like the hype train. Granted, I benefit the most from the hype train, but I still am having a good time. <laughs> Thank you. Casual Fitzy drop of the sub. Welcome, welcome. 75% on hype train four. All right. Oh, no. Cranberries. Is Cranberries alive? Smashes down the hand. Hyped up. Gives her one of those. Shows the bluff. No, it's a bluff. Is it a bluff? No, it's a sweat. Ace five against ace six. Oh no 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 no! Cranberries, is that it? Friend of the stream, cranberries. Oh no! Please. The home game is starting, chat. It's starting right now. You still have time to late register. There's 36 of us. It's popping up. The guy in seat eight, that's standing up right now with the khakis. He's a friend of the stream. Oh man. Okay. All right, I don't know if we're hand for hand now or what's going on. Brynjar with the Barry Golds in the chat. True. He's got that tier three sub. He's got it. It's for Hype Train 3. Hey, I got my friend Chris Depot at the home game table here. What's up, Depot? Thanks for playing the home game, dude. Good luck tonight. The $25 bounty on my head in the home game. There's 38 of us in the tournament right now. With You still got an hour to register, so if you need to create a party poker account, you got time. You got time. Don't sweat it. Tables are rebalancing here. We have uh, Chris Hooney moving in. Big Hooney. 
big time poker player, man. Very good poker player, high stakes poker player. You've seen him on the online felt. This is one of the guys that's very good. He's very, very good at the poker. So, um, this is a. This is not good news for anyone at the table. Ed Hunnichen. That's it, dude. Big Hooney. I call him Big Honey, but I know it's not Honey, it's Hooney. But I just like Big Honey. I like it. But it's Big Hooney. The Booga drop at four bits. Thank you, Booga. Thank you, thank you. Cygnus Cross editing the Berry Golds. The reverse Berry Golds. All right. I see it. 75% <laughs> Hype Train 4, man. Chris Cat 52. Whoa, I didn't know there was all these uh, card emotes. I train rolling down the tracks, baby. Choo choo. We should get like a train whistle or something when the hype train happens. Math degree dropping 300 bits. Thank you, man. Very much appreciated. Get some love in the chat for that. Thank you, dude. 88% hype train. Alex is going to raise it up here with the king queen under the gun. Actually, on Aaron, who. Think folds, writes Peter Dretton folds. It's just a little bit behind the card and graphic. Philip Grusom seems to have a decision here. Philip Grusom is all in with Ace King. There we go. And Alex Foxen is going to be priced in. It's just not that many chips. It's just not that many chips, man. It's only 11 million more to win 28 million. Like, you've got the price. Home game is kicking off, chat. Good luck, yo. Good luck, everyone. Aaron, or call the original raise, but now... There you go. Alex Foxen, king-queen against the ace-king. This is it. They're playing down to a winner today. They are, but there's about another five hours of coverage, so we're going to cut it off around the final table and then finish it tomorrow on the stream. Ace king against king queen. King high flop. Philip Grusom still has got the best hand here. Alex Fox needs a queen. Needs a queen. Casual Fitzy, thanks for those bits, yo. Thank you. 21 bits coming in. 18 seconds left in the hype train. Oh no. The hype train's going to end. Six of hearts on the river. Philip Grusom is going to double up. Big win for him. Alex Foxen loses a few chips there. Oh, the hype train's over. Wait, hype train success. What happened? Oh, no, it's over. Yeah, yeah, it's over. Okay, we got a new emote. Received a level three hype train emote. Thank you. Can I type thanks in chat? Thanks, man. Ooh, ooh. Hype Oni, too. Nice little exclusive little emote there, chat. There it is. Thanks for the hype train. That's cool. I like it. Hype Oni, too. All right. We know now. We've made it to level three hype train. Level four is the new record. We're going to get there one day. we got to win a tournament or something like that. We are watching the Caribbean Poker Party main event, $10,300 buy-in. We are at, I believe, 12 remaining players right now. Um, we're going to stream the live poker for about another hour and a bit here. Hopefully get to a final table, and then we're going to finish the broadcast tomorrow with our thoughts on it. Um, also, KO series going on on Party Poker tonight, so we're going to be playing those. $530 buy-in we're going to be playing, and the home game has started on Party Poker. You still got time to register, an hour and 10 minutes or so. Exclamation mark home game is the information you need in chat. The password to play is Kappa, K-A-P-P-A. -P -P -A. That's what you need to get in the tournaments. It has started. There's 42 of us right now. With an hour of late registration, I think we can beat last week's record of 108 players. Let's get to 110 at least. We can do it. Okay? Back in the action. Back in the action, chat. 12 lefts. That's right. We're on a big pay jump here. 80K guaranteed for 12th, but 11th is going to be 100K, so it's a 20,000 jump. And then 9th is 140K, so a 40K jump. All the way up to 1.35 million for the win. Whoo! That's a chunk of change. That's a lot. It's a lot of money, man. 
It's not nothing. I'll tell you that. Christopher Hunachin, I'm going to refer to as Big Hooney, with the Costa Rican flag. He's got the Queen Seven of Clubs here. Tried to get in my sub before the hype train ended, but I failed. Must have been why you skipped my dono. What? There is no dono. No dono came, man. The only Brandon. I don't see it. I see the sub now, though, two minutes ago. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't see it. I didn't see it in the hype train confusion. Thank you very much for the sub to the channel. Welcome to the team. Hearts out in chat for the only Brandon. I appreciate the support, dude. Sorry about the confusion, man. But thank you. I appreciate that. We're going to a flop here. Alex against Aaron. Sub hype coming in. Akez66. Drop the sub with the Twitch Prime. Thank you, Akez. Welcome to the team. Hearts out. Sub explosion, man. It's weird. Like, you can just stream for like six hours one day. And then all of a sudden, sometimes there's just a sub explosion of support. Thank you, guys. Aaron's going to take it down with the 4-3 of hearts, sitting on 148 million. It's a fine stack. I'm playing a pot in the home game. I can't show you guys. I'm playing against Palm the Cat. Palm the Cat, if you're if you're listening out there, you got to be careful, Palm the Cat. Ashak 8 board, two diamonds. Watch your back, man. That's all I'm saying. It's me, lol. All right, Itchy Bum 40. Keep it together. King of clubs on the turn. This is good for your range, so I figure I should probably go for a check raise here, right? I'll check to you. Ten of diamonds of the river, I'll check. I lose seven eight to uh Jack Six here, chat. Seven eight to Jack Six. Tough one. Tough one, dude. The Hooney folds Alex in the small blind looking down at 8-7 with only one opponent left in the hand. Let's see what he elects to do. Looks like chips are going in. And I think a call or something, but the graphics are lagging a little bit behind here. Let's see how it goes. Call for 2.4 million. Action on Aaron. Go ahead. Give him a Moon checks. All right. So we're going to a flop. 9-6 against 8-7. Where's my badge? There it is. Gold blend. You got a badge, bro. Whoa! This is danger. Aaron has flopped a straight. 10-8-7. All diamonds. Aaron's flopped a straight here. And Alex has two pair. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Three diamonds on the flop. That is the only hope for Alex Fox in here. The diamonds are scary. He's got to be concerned if all the money goes in that his opponent has a flush. He's also got to be concerned potentially of the straights. But money will be going in. How much? We'll see. 12 left here. This point in time, I have 10 10 and some of shoves on the outer table. I'm using four time banks just in case I bust. I splash cranberries, who was playing this tournament at the time. The guy I was just talking about, you were just watching. He is all in with tens using time banks. There's an all in on the outer table, and we're getting a first hand account from in the chat. Aaron has raised to 11.2 million. Action back on Alex Foxen, who I think is going to call here. It's a lot to risk to shove. I don't think a shove is good. I think you should call and hope for a good turn. And there's a lot of bad turns. But I think you should call. Yeah, it's definitely too much of a risk to go all in. Like, you're just going to run into straights and flushes and better two pairs. But you're also not folding yet. You, you need to see a turn at least. Is there any way he can just fold right now?
Nope. The call isn't. Okay. So now there's 29 million in the middle. We can see Aaron has got an amazing hand, 76% here. Alex Foxen has 17%. The rest is chop. Five on the turn. Does not change much about the situation here. There's only one additional straight that gets there, and it's not very likely. That would be the 6-4 straight draw. The diamonds have missed. Alex checks. Back on Aaron now. 12 left. Ice Splash Cranberries, friend of the stream in the chat, is all in on the other table right now. Does move all in. Aaron's all in. <gasps> Alex, calls it off Alex immediately calls with the 8-7. I'm very surprised. I thought he could actually get away from the 8-7 there. I'm very surprised. I really thought Alex Foxen could fold there. I thought he was going to fold. He quickly calls the overbet. It, clearly not convinced, thinking that Aaron is bluffing. He's not going to do it. Alex Foxen is out of the tournament. GG. Aaron wins a massive pot. And I guess Ice Splash Cranberries, who all in on the other table, it might go to the outer table right now. Come on, 20k page jump. Did you get it, Cranberries? So we're down to 11. And we're going to get word, I'm assuming, of Cranberry's situation here. I'm assuming it'll show us something, so let's just hold on. Wow. I really thought Alex Foxen could maybe find a fold there. I mean, he's the number one ranked tournament player in the world, so this is by no means a criticism. But I think I would have... Well, it's easier said than none, but I think I would have folded there, actually. With three diamonds in the flop, you do lose to Jack-9, you lose to 9-6, you lose to 10-8, 10-7... And you beat diamond extras, like one diamond hens. Yeah. I don't think I would have folded. Pretty interesting. But he has won much more money than I ever have. So keep that in mind. Who am I to tell Alex Fox and what to do? I am not anyone. It's just my take on the situation. Philip Grissom going to raise it up to 5.5 million. 11 left in the field. You can see at the top. Here it is. Oh, Ice Splash Cranberries is out. Friend of the stream, Cranberries is gone. F for respect in the chat, you guys. Cranberries, friend of the stream, who was playing this tournament in real time, is dead. F for respect, bro. Miro, gift a sub to Cranberries. There's the man right there. He gets a free sub at least. Yeah, there. there he is. See him at the payout desk. And a high five is coming in. Yeah. To Ice Flash Cranberries, which is, is a pain. It's a painful high five. It seems like a painful high five. I don't know, though. Maybe it's a happy high five. That one, it, it's a little fresh maybe for the high five there. But I'm sure they're just trying to be nice. <laughs> that one would get me a bit. We're down to 10. GG, man. F for respect. Good run. 100K, right? 100K. It's chunky. Ooh. And here we go. Philip Grissom on 34 million. We're two off the official final table, right? But nine is still a pay jump. I think Foxen convinced himself that his opponent was on a flush draw with one diamond. That his two pair was good from Jackson Min. Jax Min Am. Yeah, I mean, Foxen could be thinking that Aaron had a pair and the nut flush draw. Easy, right? That's like definitely a hand Aaron would want to play that way, I think. But there's still just a lot of range that is interested in 
Like over bet shoving the turn. Straights. First six figure score. Yeah, man. I was happy. Up 35K total in 2019. Million tour. It was a good year. It's amazing, dude. That's good. Congratulations on the result. Still waiting for that six figure. Has Slayer fan called you yet? No, I'm calling him later, Lucky Boxing. Talk to him later. Home game still going on on Party Poker, you guys. We are up to how many players now? 59 players in the home game. You still have time to play. Exclamation mark home game. There is 58 minutes to register. Some good added value in it, so uh, come play. Hop in. Peter Jetton has the best of it here with the Queen 10 against Philip Grusom. Philip Grusom has 28 million left, so... I mean, let's see what happens here. Yeah, good point, my Miro. So you can go hyper sass to some high stakes tourneys. I will bring that up. Philip Grusom thinking about it here. I mean, could go for the bluff. I don't think it'll work, but he could. Seems to be thinking about it. Check, check. Okay, gives it up. Peter Jetton's going to win with a pair of queens. I don't think it would have worked, actually, the bluff from Philip Grusom on the end, so... He's uh, lucky to get away there, but he is knocked down to 28.3 million. Peter Jetton chips up even more as we are still at 10. Two off the final table, and I think that's probably where we should, where we should end it when we get to the final table, right? So that we can do a clean eight players left, and then we'll figure out how much time there is and then sort of pick a start time for tomorrow's stream if you guys want to watch it till completion. Crazy how Peter Jetton was a seven outer from being out on the river 30 minutes ago, and he now has a big stack. It is very crazy. It's true. Very crazy. So we are five handed at our feature table, five handed on the other table as well. Is there a live stack report somewhere? Boo Boo Andrew, this is not happening right now in real time. This is the Caribbean Poker Party 10K uh, late November 2019. So we're just recasting, giving our commentary and our take on it. Um, but the tournament has already happened, so you can see what happens if you want. If you're like me, I haven't seen the tournament before, so it's like a fresh look for me on it. Hunter, I'm glad you liked it, man. The pod with Daniel, that's cool. So I am dumb. You're not dumb, Boo Boo Andrew. It's all good, man. It's all good. I understand. People don't often recast tournaments, so I'm going to start doing it a bit more on the channel. So got a new player on the home game table, Sharpie. What's up? Blah, blah, yeah, yeah. Stacky Chan, Annie K, Darlusion, Parkahuta, Babyfish, 007. Those are my eight in the home game. Here it is. We'll be streaming it in a bit here, too, when we're done Aaron. casting for today. Aaron raises it up with the Ace King. Peter Jetton now in the small blind with Ace Nine offsuit. Yeah. Um, probably wants to go for a three bit here. We can see it's not a good hand to three bit against. But I think the, the standard move is to 3-bet. Looks like it's just a call, though. So we're going to instead go to Philip Grusom in the big blinds. Jack-8 offsuit. Cheers, boo-boo, uh, Andrew. Cheers, man. Static Broccoli. How's the week going? Good, man. KO Series all this weekend. So excited to play some online. 
We're going to get to the completion of this tournament, which will be about 30 hours or so, maybe a bit more of live poker casting we've done over the last two weeks. So yeah, man, having a good time. Final table stream will be tomorrow. Yes, we will complete this tomorrow. I'll let you guys know a time as well. King, queen, ten. And Peter Jetton has missed. Philip Grusom has an open ender. Aaron has top pair, top kicker. But it's not like a slam dunk situation. You see ace king on this board, and you are wary of possible better hands, right? You're thinking, okay, my opponents could have ace jack, or they could have jack nine, or they could have king queen, or they could have king ten, or they could have queen ten. And like, yeah, I'm ahead of king jack, and I'm ahead of king nine, and king eight, or all the queens. But you're not in love with your hand. It's not like, oh, I flopped the nuts. You know what I mean? Aaron takes it. Shows it. Shows the king. Home game password is Kappa. Type it in chat for you. There you go. It's home game password. We're up to 70 players now. 70 players in the home game. I'm still in there. I'm in a pot right now against Babyfish007. And I'm telling you, Babyfish, watch your back, bro. I'm in a pot right now on a Jack732 hearts. Uh-oh. Look out, Babyfish. Don't get too crazy as we have some outer table action going on here. The runout has been not so good for my Jack 10. I have to check it down. I bet flop. Take it down against the 9 4. Babyfish, I told you, man. Stay out of my way, Babyfish. I'm telling you, bro. We've got Scott in a big old pot here against this player, and I don't know this player. I don't think we've been able to have him on the commentary as of yet. So he's a new one to me. And we are still at 10. We need to eliminate two to get to the official final table. Mateos is still in the tournament. Yes. Adrian Mateos in the tournament in this one seat. One of the best tournament players in the world. Uh, certainly in the top 100 tournament players in the world. So very difficult. Uh, it's a pretty stacked field, you know. It is. Ten K buy-in, no joke. It's a strong field. Yeah, it's a big one. Get a shot of Scott here. Looking comfy. Ecstatic broccoli drop of the twenty-seven month resub. Welcome back to the team, Ecstatic broccoli. Thank you, man. Thanks for all the positive vibes. Cheers, dude. Thanks for being here, supporting the show. Damn, Bernie Sanders ran up a stack. All right, Dunk. All right, bro. That's not What's Bernie that? Sanders, man. Stop. <laughs> so $10,000 buy-in, my friends. Yeah, $10,300 buy-in. As we've got outer table sweat. It looks like we're hand for hand. So what happens is both hands, both tables play hand, and then you start again. And then you play. But you can see the shot clock on the table as well, counting down for 40 here. Call a bet and, and a winner. A flush. flush for Scott with the 6 7 of clubs. There it is. A lot of chips going Scott's way. There we go. Seems like a lot of streamers take today off. Yeah, Friday night is usually a chill day for online poker. I don't know why. Because people have days off that like work normal jobs. So you'd think. 
Those are the people you'd want to play against as a pro. But for whatever reason, Friday and Saturday is chill, and then Sunday is just anarchy, chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I play every Friday night and every Saturday night because my home game is on Friday and the Twitch opens on Saturday. Um, and I really enjoy it now. So, yeah, it's kind of it's these are my work days for streaming and playing, you know? Big <laughs> Hooney folds the 7 3. Moving on to Aaron here. And they cut off with Ace 5. I wonder how long the hand hand for hand is going to take because we can't just like. We got KO series to play tonight. We can't just stream to 8 if it's going to take another 3 hours. I have no idea how long. We are 10 left, and I don't know if 9, if it goes to final table at 9 or 8. But we will stop the live commentary and the live sweat and switch to pure online sweat when we reach the final table. Whenever that is. Do they send you one like they do the WTT? Does WTT send you one, a smaller version? I think we just delivered Which is pretty cool. They just sent it to my house. Raise, take it. Aaron's got it. Hey, Mr. J, Mr. Knox, how are you, my friend? Welcome. What's up? What's up with you, dude? Are you playing tonight? What's the What's the situation? I am going to have to get dinner at some point too, because I haven't eaten since we started this stream i've got a yogurt and crunch for breakfast but it's going to be getting me at some point making moves brother i mean there's nothing official yet rancor nothing official bro i don't know what you're talking about we are going to be adding a member to party poker team online on sunday and there's a teaser photo out of who is this who are we adding but i don't know who's in the photo man they don't tell me I don't know who's in that photo. It's all blurred out, man. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know who that is? I'll get it for you guys so you can see. You guys know who this is? I don't know who this is. Do you guys know? I'm not sure. I have no idea. New member of Party Poker Team Online joining us on Sunday. Not sure. Head over to the Party Poker Twitter. You guys can maybe uh, put your guesses in there. It's blurred out, man. It's in gray. How do you know? I don't know. <laughs> Aaron's going to raise it up in the hijack to 6.4 million. We have Christopher Big Hooney in the big blind with the ace ten. It's gonna call. All right. So we're going to a flop here. Sixteen million in the middle, and the flop is Jack ten five. Big Hooney's got the best hand with a pair of tens. Aaron's got an under pair here, so I'd expect it to go check check. It does. Okay, so we're gonna go to a turn now. Seven of spades on the turn. Big Hooney still got the best hand with second pair. Could bet and get some value from his hand. I think that's what I would do, but he elects to go for a check. Seven on the river. I think he should have bet, to bet the turn. I think he can get two streets of value from worse hands. <laughs> Photo's gray. Lex hair is gray. Lex confirms. I cannot confirm nor deny who it is. Ten point two million on the river here, Big Hooney. Action on Aaron now, who snapping a call in. There it is. Can't blame him when it gets to the river, but uh, Big Hooney does get the pot. Picks it up. Hooney, one hundred forty. Out of table action here. Whoa! 
We got an all-in situation on the outer table. Mr. Flo in the middle of the table, man. Good hair, good hat. Good hands. For now. Eight of hearts on the turn. Deuce of hearts on the river. Queen, queen. Is still alive. Gets the full double up. Big sweat, big sweat. Still 10 left. Peter Jenton here in the hijack, looking down at a terrible eight deuce. William with the ace four clubs is going to raise it up. Aaron, queen eight hearts in the big. This should be a call. Cool. Acting on Aaron now in the big blind. I think you got to peel one off here. Two hundred million chips, just over a fifth of the chips in play. So I think a call is natural with queen eight of hearts. Ten left in the field, uh, and Rogi. Ten left in the field, man. Jack six seven, couple of spades. Check for uh, Aaron. Spent all the checks went back. Wet board. King on the turd. With a spade, Will could bet this. Should he so choose now? Definitely hard for Aaron with a six or a seven. And check from Aaron here with the queen eight, ace four. I mean, both players have missed here. So it's really whoever's going to show aggression is going to win this pot. And if no one shows aggression, then William wins. And it does go check, check. King of clubs on the end. Aaron checks. Check, check. Ace high is going to win. That's that. Still at 10. We don't know if there's action on the other table or not. We're not sure. <laughs> Did Philip Grusom miss a hand or what happened there? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we played a pot in the home game. What did I win? Queen Jack against Tevin's 10 7. Getting some money there. Blah, blah, yeah, yeah. Looking us up. Go back out to the Let's go. 93K. You got lucky on that river from Man Illusion. You have a flush, man. Yeah. It's a good river. Good river for me. This chair is on the blanket, man. Oh, got it. At the nut flush, yeah. Tough one, bro. 93k, you're such a crusher. I'm doing it, bro. You can screw. I am doing it, man. Mateos looks almost bored, doesn't he? <laughs> he's like, he's zoned out. But he's probably just zoned in. He's probably just like so in the zone. Check, check. Bot going over there. All right, we continue. Hand for hand continues. We move on. Still 10 left. 
Get the swooping swing back. Whoa, check out the trophy on the way by. Featured table action. Let's go. We have just enough of everything, you know. It's the logistics is the problem. And that is really people. William the cut off with the twos. You have a big trophy? I don't, dude. The biggest trophy I got is up there, the run it up trophy. And then I got my PLO trophy right in the middle. You guys take a look. The run it up trophy you can't see because it doesn't fit in the cupboards. So you gotta figure out how to display it better. But uh and then right here. My Omaha trophy, man. I also have a North America Streamer of the Year award. And that is the extent of my poker career trophies man that's it those three that's what i got that's everything her name is b car <laughs> oh b car trophy star car man william in position deuces and so poorly post but deuces against jacks here aaron with the three bets and william calls a little bit surprising, honestly. There's big interest in this one. But I mean, a deuce high flop would be insane. It is not ten eight six. Someone busting before him. Okay. Ten eight six. So it's probably just going to be a bet and a fold, I would guess. Aaron, but it shouldn't hit William too often. <laughs> he did raise. We got a three bet. Fifty picks. William's obviously not going to continue on this flop. Well, I shouldn't say obviously. It's possible, but. Unlikely to happen, you know. No, it's being big. Goes twenty-one and at the end of this, no way William continues with deuces. He's looking at his chips, though. <laughs> he is, he is looking at his chips, man. There we go. Folds. Okay, he lets it go. He lets it go, man. Nice pot, Aaron. In our home game on Party Poker, there's 37 minutes left to register. 87 people in the tournament chat. We need another 23 to break last week's number, okay? We need another 23. There's 37 minutes left. Exclamation mark, home game. Come hop in, man. I got 86,000, so you got a chance to come bust me. Bring the heat. Bring the heat. What's up, Agad68? Love your vids as they've taught me a lot. Thank you, no problem. Cheers, thanks for checking them out. We should have a new video coming out today on YouTube, actually. I'm hoping. So, cheers. Any heat today going on, actually? Well, I'm just in one tournament right now, but I will be hopping in some KO series soon. Some more KO series. We'll be streaming those as well. We've got the 320 KO series. We really do need to start quickly. 320 and 55 KO series. And then a 109 6 max PLO KO series as well. So hopefully we burst the 10 to 9 quickly so we can get in those. No, just surf too. Unlucky, man. Big Hooney raises it up with the cutoff with the King 9. Aaron, the dealer button lets it go. Peter Jetton in the small blind. We've got a new photo of Peter Jetton. We've got a new photo of Peter Jetton. What's up with that? How was your first time commentary? Were you scared? Not really, because I'd been streaming a bunch, man. That's the thing. Streaming is very similar to commentary. A little bit different, but very similar. I was scared my first interview. I did an interview with Poker News Canada, and they called me and asked me some questions, and I was very nervous, for sure. Very nervous for that. 
I did a Q and A in the Bahamas, uh, and I was very nervous for that because I mean you're just like, you're just up in front of a bunch of people with a microphone, and you're just like, okay, well you're here to see me as well as these other people, I guess. But that's intense, you know. But now I don't know. You just get used to it over time, you know. Who's your favorite co-commentator ever? Oof, it's tough, man. It's a tough question. It's really tough to say who I had the best on on stream chemistry with with commentary. I don't really know how to answer that. Philip Grusom is going for the double up here. I'll think about it. I think David Tuckman and I really bounced off each other well. So I think we had a good uh, we had a good back and forth, David Tuckman and I. I'd say. Ashak eight. Grusom is ahead. We're 10 left here to the turn, which is a three. Big Hooney needs a king and only a king to win this pot, or Philip Grusom is going to double up to 36 million. Let's see. Four clubs. Printing. Philip Grusom with the Selly. Come on, man. Easy double up for the Philip Grusom. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, listen, James Hardigan, Joe Stapleton are both great at what they do. I really enjoy doing commentary with them. Matt Broughton as well. I enjoyed do com doing commentary with him. I thought we had pretty good demeanor going. Uh, I've done commentary with Bart Hansen, with Maria Ho. Um, I, I've done co-commentary with, like, Jay Carver, with Nananoko with uh finton and spraggy like a lot of people probably tuckman was the one where i feel like it worked best but all of those people are good at doing commentary literally all of them so is that adrian mateos it is yes let me move to the other side of the screen so you can get a little sweat of that here The time banking is on here. The cards are capped. He seems not interested. Oh, no, we've got a third player in the pot here. Okay. So I don't really know what... Yep, there's the shove. There's the shove. Action. Action, baby. We got moments. Two all-ins here. Back on Mateos now. Who's looking at his hand and has not folded yet. Adrian Mateos has not folded this hand yet. We're at 10. Look at him. He's not ready to fold. Look it. Oh, my goodness. I think we're going to get a three-way all in here. Considering what to do. Wow. Call. It's a three-way all-in, chat. That's cool. It's a three-way all-in. I don't know what the hands are. Ace, queen, kings, and ace, queen. Ace on the flop. Kings are dead. Two kings left, or they're going to be gone. Six on the turn, that's not it. Two kings, or they are out. A ruthless, ruthless bubble for the kings. Ten left in the tournament. We're talking huge pay jumps. 1.3 million for the win. These players have 100k locked up right now. You get the sense of what's at risk here. Like, that's multiple hundred of thousand dollar bad beat that just went down you see two ace queens you got kings you're in a dreamland this is just like this is the spot in a poker career you hope to get to one time you're just like yeah, yeah once put me in the spot kings against ace queen ace queen with 1.3 up top and literally ace ball on the flop poker so sick chat it's so sick 
You can't. You're not ready for it. You can't do it. It's so sick. You better have absolute steel. Absolute steel of a mental game. Just like nothing bothers you, man. Because, oh, that's sick, man. It's a sickness. It's so gross.